wrong with you white people. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to need y'all to get it together too, okay? You are not absolved at all. Mom says Christian school expelled her children because of OFD cow. <laughs> I tell you, so you want to display your whoredom even at the kids' school is what I'm hearing right now. So you want to make sure that everyone at the school knows that you're available okay come hit me up on my of page no respect for your kids y'all ain't much better y'all ain't better at all you're the same you're whores you're whores the, the women are all the same y'all okay they want to be whores it's 2024 whore them all 2024 and it's more important for you to embarrass your damn kids whether you word vomiting it on the internet or you showing it now in your car as you show up to the christian school no respect whatsoever Shout out to all the good mamas. This morning, controversy near Orlando after a Florida private school expelled two children over a dispute with their mother. At issue, a sticker on Michelle Klein's car promoting her OnlyFans page. There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. Basically. Link to, you know, explicit content, adult content for sure. My husband and I had this, you know, little wild, you know, behind closed doors lifestyle that we've now decided to share. OnlyFans is an online. Giving her this attention by having this news story, she's not upset about it. She loves it. She loves it. She's happy about this because that's going to draw more attention to her. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I tell you, sometimes these news people. Mm, mm, mm. Online platform often used by adult content creators to monetize photos and videos. Other parents at Liberty Christian Preparatory School are not fans of promoting that site. That's a distraction to my children. And no matter how poorly or how good I parent, porn is there. At first, the school asked Klein not to bring the car on campus unless the decal was removed and urged her to drop her kids off across the street. I was forced to have to, um, you know, take it off or not come on campus. And then the school sent a letter saying, your family's enrollment with LCPS is terminated, effective immediately. Shout out to that school. Sorry for your luck to the kids. I'm gonna let you know right now, your mama's a hoe. It doesn't matter that that's your mama and what your certain feelings about her. Your mama is a hoe. She's a whole hoe. I'm supposed to feel sorry for that bitch. I don't. Not one damn bit. And where your husband at, man? What do you got to say about this? Accusing Klein of promoting a pornographic website, but still offering the possibility to re-enroll her kids if she removes the sticker. Why not take the decal off? And that would seem like an easy thing to say, for sure. But for me, you know, it supports my family. This provides a, a very comfortable way of life for us. And it's legal. You know, I pay taxes just like everyone else. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York. I can't stand you, whores. I tell you. There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. They don't, they, none of them give a damn about none of these kids. Not near none of them. It's more important. This is, this is where fighting to be like men and fighting for equality to be a whore. You're a whore. I don't care. I don't care if you're not actually inserting. I don't care. You know that's what you're doing. You got your kids in a Christian school showing up. Take the damn thing off. Cover it up. I'm sure there's something. We know you're lazy. Let's call it what it is. You think you're wonderful and you're gorgeous and everything. Ma'am, you look like you're two seconds away from being a has-been real quick on OF. And if it wasn't for this daggone thing, you probably would have been on your way out. I'm just saying. So you got to ramp up your horridness in order to stay in business, quote unquote, as a whore. Whatever, child. Moving on, moving on. They all the same. It don't matter what your race is. All the same. Women want to be whores. That's it. And then say, you need to treat me with respect. You're a narcissist. You're no good. You don't treat me right. I deserve, I deserve, I deserve. I deserve, I deserve, I deserve. You deserve nothing, girl. You, your kids deserve better than you as their daggone mother. And, and again, where your husband, what he got to say about this child? Where the baby's daddy's at? What he got to say about this? 
Mm, I didn't hear anything. Anyway, y'all, moving on to woman accused of depriving children of food, water, at home daycare in Philadelphia. Shout out to the city of brotherly love. Oh, Lord. Y'all really do, women for the most part, enough of it. Love to AB kids. I tell you, you don't care about these kids for shit. Now to a disturbing case of child neglect at a Northeast Philadelphia daycare. The owner has been charged with allegedly leaving kids unattended with nothing to eat or drink. Action News reporter Annie McCormick looking into the details of this, joining us live outside a special uh, victims unit in Hunting Park with the story. Annie. Again, Shari, the suspect turned her into SV, turned herself in rather to SVU detectives last night. Today, she was charged, and at this point, this involves at least eight victims. Fifty-three-year-old mm. Edna Lightheart is facing a list of serious charges, including endangering the welfare of a child and unlawful restraint and serious bodily injury. Philadelphia Police and the District Attorney's Office alleges she was running a daycare out of her Northeast Philadelphia home where she left children in car seats for the entire day and did not provide mm. food or liquids to the children, including babies. I just felt in my heart that my son, my son is a very lovable baby he never cries he's very sweet and i thought there's no way that someone could possibly be capable of doing this to him two parents who did not want their names used or faces shown grew emotional tonight talking to six abc about the charges we're not getting any social or emotional or physical engagement for the entire day that was extremely hard for me and my husband to see we were not allowed to watch the full day of his videos we were told it would be too traumatizing mm. it was lightheart's mm. own mm. internal surveillance video that svu detectives used and showed to parents to identify their children we went to the lightheart home where no one answered tonight sources say the daycare was unlicensed so far at least An illegal damn daycare so she can leave your kids in the car seat all day long. Don't feed them. Don't give them nothing to drink. They got to be crying. So why would you even do that? They have to be crying and having a fit and everything, be cranky and everything else. Why would you do that? It's just like she just wants to see them suffer. She just wanted to see them suffer. There's no way that you could really sit there all day long, listen to a bunch of babies want excuse me, whine and cry, especially from hunger and not being able to move and stuff like that. Child, under the damn jail for her. Under the damn jail for her, okay? Woo, lo and the shit is not even a legal damn daycare. So in other words, those people who paying her, they paying her straight up. Ain't no purchase of care, ain't no subsidies, nada, none of it. So they just said, we're going to go ahead and go to this daycare because I understand with daycare, sometimes it's better when you're at home, you got a home daycare, you think it's more personalized or whatever. That's how I, what I thought in the beginning, child too. Then after a while, I'm like, yeah, nah, we're going to go ahead and get out here in one of these regular centers so that you can be around a bunch of kids and have activities and have a playground and all that type of stuff. So it's hard with daycare, y'all, and daycare ain't Listen, daycare wasn't cheap way back 30 years ago, so I can't even imagine how the hell much y'all paying now, especially if you got to pay out of pocket with no help. Good luck to y'all, though, okay? Shout out to your excellent sir for the, another five. Appreciate you, hun. He says they're so lazy that they'll let a stranger claim their children just for a 15% cut. People do do that. <laughs> People actually do do that. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Shout out to Frederick Howard with another two. He says, Musty Red had been, oh. oh. Yes, I'm about to put a short up on that because I am not doing a whole video. Every time I do a video on um, Sexy Red, it's demonetized. So I'm not even, I'm just going to do a short. But yes, that's why I, I actually was thinking, like, I haven't heard anything about that witch lately. Then I saw that, oh, she had the baby. Mm, she put on a lot of weight, too. So now, now it'll be the snatchback. That'll be the next conversation. Anyway, shout out to y'all. Thank you so much for being here. Please make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new. Eight children are included as victims, but more charges could come. Oh, we're lucky uh, enough yeah. that none of our children were my ugly off. Off because of this. My fear was that, you know, eventually the way she was doing things that a baby was either going to get seriously hurt or end up dead. Yeah.
And today a judge did set bail conditions. She was released because of a medical condition and also because she is. She was released for a medical condition. I'm supposed to feel sorry for that bitch. I don't. Let her ass stay up in there. We do not care. Child, they don't leave nobody in jail no more. Nobody. Also because she is not considered a flight risk. In the meantime, go gray, she is not allowed to operate a daycare or even babysit. For now reporting live outside of the special victims unit in Hunting Park, Annie McCormick. Damn, is this where they get the stories from for um that show? What is it called? Law and Order, I think. I don't watch that show. I've never watched that show. Shout out to uh, the special victims unit. Get her ass. Send her ass on up the damn river, child. Just like you did with that 90-some-year-old who came out there with her cane and took care of her son's fight. Now she in jail. Where the son at? You know what? I want to know where the son at. If she came out here and she going to jail, where your son at? Probably laying up with some other woman and you over here in jail now. Child, you can't make it up. You cannot make it up. We do not care.